All right, so for the following circuit, we have to find uh, the voltage at uh, these points, one, two, and three, okay? So the problem with this circuit is uh, this 10 volt here, because it's gonna be, if we, if we have a current moving in this direction, we it's gonna be difficult for us to figure out what its value is. So what we're gonna do is find an equation to represent this. So we know if a current is moving in this direction, uh, so let's say this is voltage one, and let's say this is voltage three. So an equation we can write is that while V1 passes through the 10 volt uh, source, as it leaves its positive terminal, it increases by 10 volts. And so that means V3 will be equal to V1 plus 10. So we can write our first equation down. V1, V1 plus 10 is equal to V3. All right, now we'll treat this as a super, uh, node so let's write directions of current let's call this i1 let's call this i2 the current passing here will be i3 uh this one will be i4 and this one will be i5 now let's write uh the equations for these three nodes let me draw this better there okay so for node b1 Let's see what it will be. So everything is leaving the node. So it will be I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals 0. And then for node uh, 2, everything is also entering the node. So it will be I2 plus I4 plus 5. And then for node th 3, this one's node 3. So node 3, uh, it's I3 is entering the node, and this will be equal to I4 plus I5. All right, so let's write the equations for our I values. So I1, it's V1 over 4. I2, it's V1 minus V2. This is V2. Okay, so V1 minus V2 all over 2. I3. Uh, it, we can't find the equation for I3 because there's absolutely no way for us to find it. So I4, it's V3 minus V2 all over 2. And then we have I5, it's V3 all over 8. All right. Now let's plug everything in, except it's a we can't plug for I3, but that's fine. Uh, so. This one will be V1 over 4 plus V1 minus V2 all over 2 plus I3. This one will be V1 minus V2 all over 2 plus V3 minus V2 all over 2 plus 5. And this one will be I3 is equal to I4. V3 minus V2 all over 2 plus uh, I5, which is V3 over 8. Now, Take a look what we got. We have uh, four unknowns and four equations, including this one. We can plug in this I3 into here and create like one long equation. So let's plug I3 into here. So this one will be V3 minus V2 all over two plus three over V3 over eight. All right, so now let's just fully ignore this equation. And now we have these three equations we can work with. So let's break this one down. So V1 over 4 plus V1 over 2, that gives us uh, 0 0.75 V1. Then we have minus V1 over 2, uh, minus V1 over 2 again, that gives you minus V2. Sorry, minus V2 over 2, minus V2 over 2 again. That gives you minus 1 V2. And then V3 over 8. That... Oh, yeah. V3 over 8 plus V3 over 2. That gives you plus 0 0.625 V3. And this is equal to 0. Now the second one. Let's put it here. Uh, it's V1 over 2, which is 0 0.5 V1. Minus V2 over 2, minus V2 over 2, so that's minus V2. Then we only have one V3, of, we only have one V3, so V3 over 2, that's 
0.5 v3. And then let's bring the 5 to the other side. So it's equal to minus 5. And then let's bring this equation over here. So we have v1 plus 10 equals v3. Let's swap the 10 and the v3. So it will be uh, v1 minus v3 equals minus 10. Now you can, uh, uh, well, you could do a substitute uh, each of the equation into each other or use like MATLAB. And after, if, if you use MATLAB, you get the following V1 equals 10 volts, V2 equals 20 volts, and V3 also equals 20 volts. And that's your final answer. These are your final answers.